Welcome to Real Time. This week I'm announcing the vegetarian lacto ovo meal plan for the week and I'm cooking three recipes from that. We're doing roasted courgette hummus, seed crackers and a charred halloumi and roasted red pepper salad. This week's meal plan is a medium to low carb lacto ovo vegetarian meal plan. That means we include eggs, and dairy. For dinners, we've got simple dishes like charred halloumi and roasted red pepper salad, pesto courgette with pan tomatoes and some grated cheese. Lunch is made up of things like some supper leftovers, my favorite hearty vegetable soup, and of course our epic roasted courgette hummus with our famous seed crackers. For brekkie, we've got simple things like boiled eggs, avocado, and the benchmark omelette. And there's also special attention paid to gut health in this meal plan. We've got things like milk kefir and sauerkraut to be added to your breakfasts. Now there are lentils and pumpkin in this meal plan, which makes it slightly higher carb than normal, but it is still most definitely a low carb lacto over vegetarian meal plan. All these recipes are from my first book, Real Meal Revolution, and they're all available in the online program, which you can join at realmealrevolution.com. And all that information is in the links below. Courgettes, I think they taste really nice, but more importantly, they are much lower in carbs. First thing we're gonna do is get our courgettes roasted. So we're gonna cut them into big chunks, pop them in a bowl, crack of salt, good whack of black pepper, give them a good whack of oil, toss them around. You want to give them a good coating of oil so that while they're roasting in the tray, they're getting nice and caramelized on the edges and you're going to get nice little bits of roasted flavor coming through there. Drop them into a tray lined with foil. Why do we line it with foil? Makes the cleaning process a lot easier. And we're just going to roast these at about 180 for 30 to 40 minutes. While those courgettes in the oven, I'm going to show you a little trick to add extra flavor to this recipe. The recipe says you've got to add everything together at the end and just whiz it up and leave it to infuse. But to get extra punch out of that cumin, what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat some oil in a pan and I'm going to add that cumin to let it simmer away for about three or four minutes. And what it's going to do, it's going to bring out a really nice toasted cumin flavor into that oil. So when we mix it through, you'll get that cumin flavor coming out. Okay, so my courgettes are nicely roasted. You can see their little caramelized bits on the edges. I'm going to just tip these straight into the little blender. I'm going to get them nice and smooth. Okay, now all you need is a clove of garlic. Now you can stop it halfway if you like. If you like it slightly more chunky, that's up to you. Smell that garlic. Tip that out. Another batch. This one's gonna be slightly chunkier. Pop that in. A nice twist of lemon. And finally, the magic ingredient, tahini. Tahini is like peanut butter made with toasted sesame seeds, okay? And it adds like an amazing bitter richness to anything you add it to. So that's where you get that like ever so slightly bitter flavor in a normal hummus. Of course, a little bit more salt and pepper. And finally, another drizzle of olive oil. Don't forget the magic oil. I'm gonna mix that up and just check the seasoning. Yeah, that's perfect. We leave this in the fridge for at least an hour to infuse. So I'm gonna show you how to make two variations of this recipe, I'm gonna show you how to make a nice nutty chunky cracker and then I'm going to show you how to make a nice smooth cracker. So what we're going to do is we're going to combine all the dry ingredients and then divide the batch by two and I'm going to take the dry ingredients of the second batch and I'm going to whiz them up in, in a blender to get them nice and smooth and then we're going to add our water and the smooth one takes a little bit more water because those ground nuts are a little bit more absorbent. We've also called them seed crackers, nutty seed crackers. Uh, there are a few retailers who've produced them too under their own names. Um, and we're going to start off with the ingredients. Use whatever seeds you like, as long as the total weight of the seeds is 360 grams. We're going to use our own mixture of golden and normal flax seeds here. So we're going to mix all the seeds together. First, I've got golden flax, normal flax, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, and then my little combination of white and black sesame seeds. Now I'm going to mix these around. 
Uh, I mean, I've whizzed this first before I add the psyllium, has to make sure I disperse the psyllium evenly between the two batches. Next, I'm gonna take half that batch and I'm gonna pour it into my little blender. Once it's in there, I'm just gonna give it a whiz. Now, you could use a coffee grinder or a magic mix. I'm just using this attachment that came with my stick blender. Okay, that's perfect. Nice and well ground. Now we're going to mix in the psyllium. So my very scientific vision. I'm going to take the normal amount of water in the recipe and times by 1.5. So a normal batch is 400 mils of water. If we're doing a half batch, it's 200 mils times by 1.5. That's 300 mils in the smooth batch and 200 mils in the rough batch. So I'm going to mix that in. I'm going to leave it for 10 minutes for the psyllium to plump up and turn into a nice little paste and then we can smear that onto the baking trays. So you can see it's come together really nicely and this is a perfect sort of thickness for us to be spreading. So we're going to tip these out into their trays. I'm using a silicone mat in the one and another kind of like baking silicone mat in the other. You can use greaseproof paper but you need to oil it really well or give it a good spray of spray and cook if they're into that kind of thing. So I'm going to spread these out to the four corners of the trays. Uh, get them as thin as possible, they're going to go in the oven for 120 minutes at about 150. You know they're cooked when you can lift them up and it stays in a whole sheet like this. So now you just need to take this sheet and break it up into crackers. And this is very satisfying. Oh! There we are. And you can store these in an airtight container for up to a week. Okay, we're making char grilled halloumi and roasted red pepper salad. And the steps are very easy. Now the beauty of halloumi is you can grill it in advance. So we're gonna grill all of the halloumi first and we're gonna leave it on a tray. We're gonna prepare the rest of the salad. And then right at the end, we're gonna pop that halloumi back in the oven. And obviously it'll all come out perfectly hot and sort of gooey at the same time. So to get the halloumi ready, we're gonna cut it into big chunks. We're gonna marinate it and then we're gonna put it on the griddle pan. But we're gonna make sure this griddle pan is stinking hot. So I'm gonna light that up first. Okay, then we're going to cut this halloumi into big chunks. Now, obviously, the bigger the chunks, the longer you can grill the cheese for before it actually melts completely. So I'm going to make them about finger thick. So we've got the cheese in our bowl. Now we're going to cover it in this rub. And when the rub sticks to the cheese and it hits the griddle pan, the griddle pan's going to like burn the herbs and spices a little bit. So you're going to get a little bit of smokiness and it's obviously going to like force all of those flavors into the cheese. So we're going to add in some cumin, some dried oregano, some yellow mustard seeds, some dried thyme and some really nice dark, rich smoked paprika. And we mix that around with a splash of olive oil and some salt and pepper, obviously. We're gonna to toss that around and give them a really nice coating. Okay, now the griddle pan's ready, nice and hot. I'm just gonna lay them on the griddle pan one at a time to make sure they get some nice, good griddle lines on them. Now once you can see little bits of cheese melting out the sides there, that's when you want to flip them. Okay, so you can see they've all got some good griddle lines. Now I'm just going to transfer them to a little tray. And it doesn't matter if they get cold, they're all going to go in the oven at the end. So we set those aside to cool, now we're going to get the rest of the salad ready. You want to get your oven as hot as possible and turn on the grill. So the first thing we need to do to get the salad ready is roast the peppers. So I've got some nice big red peppers here. We're just going to rub them with a little bit of oil and pop them straight in the oven at about 250. If your oven can go hotter than that, put it in. You can go up to 300. We want them to get black all over. So you can see they're nice and black all over. Now I'm just going to wrap this tray and cover it completely and let them sweat. And while they're sweating in their own heat, the skins are going to peel away from the flesh. So you can see these have sweated nicely and the skin has come apart. So now we're just going to peel that off. Okay, now we're going to tear these little fillets and put them in the pan. 
So the salad dressing is actually a marinade for the peppers, but to get this marinade properly into the meat of the peppers, we're gonna warm it up. So we're gonna pop the peppers in the pan for this juicing. Oh, catch all the seeds. Now we're gonna crank up the heat and make the dressing so that all those flavors get sucked into the peppers. A few sprigs of thyme. Take one head of garlic. And we're just gonna cut it loosely. Then a solid glug of olive oil. So the vinegar and most of the juice is sucked up and now it's just starting to caramelize in the fat. So we're going to turn it off the heat, let it cool and plate up. Okay, so as those peppers come off the heat, we're going to pop this halloumi back in the oven to get nice and hot. And while that's cooking away, we're going to get the salad ready. So we're going to lay the peppers out on the platter. tomatoes. Okay, while this cheese is still hot, we're going to assemble it neatly over the salad. We're going to give it a few sprigs of basil, just tear it up there. A nice big splash of olive oil. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to get in on that roast pepper and char grilled halloumi action, the recipe is in Real Meal Revolution, the book, but it's also in our online program at realmealrevolution.com. If you want a meal plan every single week, please subscribe there. Also, please follow us on Instagram and Facebook and subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss next week. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.